more than 50% of the Australian population, they feel unsafe and insecure when they're online. Computer hackers have struck organisations in over 100 countries. NHS computer systems across England are in meltdown. A major cyber attack that has caused chaos across the globe. There have been more than 114,000 reports of cybercrime in Australia since 2000. There's a skills shortage, there's a job shortage as well. So globally, we're facing a shortage of a million plus uh, cybersecurity graduates at this point in time. It's only going to get worse over the years unless we uh, meet the demands of the, uh, the industry. ECU was only one of two institutions nationwide that received federal funding uh, to establish the Australian Centre for Cybersecurity Excellence. So this funding essentially is going to help um, improve our programs even better and essentially make our students market ready even more than ever before. And certainly now with Internet of Things, devices are becoming more and more part of our lives. It's become a more present issue in people's minds. So we have to get very, very tough on cyber and cyber warfare. Cyber security is at the very forefront of what we are doing to keep Australia safe. Frankly, I, was, I didn't actually know that the field really existed before I went into university. I'm a senior cons security consultant at Asterisk Information Security. I'm in the penetration testing team, which our basic role is to hack into our clients' networks and try and expose vulnerabilities, hopefully before the attackers, the real bad guys do. I definitely think this is a, a field that pretty much anyone with an interest in technology or an interest in learning can get into. When I first started I had no knowledge on coding, um, no security knowledge, no network knowledge. I got taught everything here so anybody can do it. The, the industry is, to my estimation, growing faster than, uh, than people coming in to, to fill the jobs. It's getting more and more public exposure than it ever has before. About the allegations that the Russian government deployed hackers to disrupt it's, our... It's a top-tier national security issue for the United States. demanding payment to unlock affected computers. And, and the numbers of threats that emerge every single day of the year are, is enormous. It's becoming a more mainstream issue these days and I feel like organisations are finally waking up to the security issues that maybe people have been talking about uh, for the last you know, 15, 20 years as potential problems. This is the new frontier of warfare, it's the new frontier of espionage, it's the new frontier of many threats. I think it's the time for cyber. If this space is really interesting at the moment and is hitting off, um, there's loads of different areas you can go into. We have the best job in the world. Uh, we hack into people's systems and hopefully identify serious issues. And by doing so, we're effectively trying to make the world a safer place.